the signings or the draft picks, the, the record amount of spending? No, obviously it's a tremendous day. I couldn't be more pleased with the way it turned out at the end of the process. Uh, from the beginning, we've been working very hard to use this as an opportunity to bring talent into the organization. I think we, we focused on drafting the very best player in every position, worked hard to get him signed, and I just have to really recognize the work that Neil's done, Greg Smith has done, the entire scouting team to identify talent, bring talent in, and then work with them so they want to become part of the Pirate organization. I think you saw the result of that last night as we finished up. I have to ask you, have you worked your way into deficit spending yet for this year? Uh, we certainly have allocated significant dollars to uh -huh. the draft this year. I think well, and, and at the deadline, so that's why I'm asking. The, the combination yeah. of, of, of both. Uh, I think we've put ourselves in the position that we said we were going to uh, uh, three and a half years ago when we said we're going to allocate dollars aggressively, we're going to supplement when we need to, uh, we're going to do everything we can to build a championship organization in Pittsburgh. Uh, so this draft was a good opportunity. Some of the additions uh, uh, this season have been an opportunity. That's what we need to do to continue to improve the talent level and quality of this team. So deficit spending or not? Uh, I'm not going to talk okay. specifically <laughs> about uh, but I have to ask. But, but what we've done is exactly what we said we were going to do, is okay. we're going to take advantage of every opportunity we can to return this team to championship quality, not just one year, but year after year. The draft was a very consistent approach with what we did last year, the year after, and frankly, we're going to continue doing it going forward. Uh, we need to bring talent into the organization. There's no substitute for great high-end talent, and so I just have to give all the credit in the world to the whole scouting department for all the work they did to get people so excited about some of these players coming in, being part of the Pittsburgh Pirate organization. Some owners have expressed a desire to have a hard slot with the new club bargaining agreement. Given that this team has paid over slot in the past over years for players, what is your stance on that? Yeah, I, I think that uh, I have a lot of respect for uh, Commissioner Selig. I think the people who are leading that uh, uh, bargaining uh, uh, for the collective bargaining agreement have a very good understanding. Our position has always been that we're going to live within the rules that we have and try to take full advantage where we can of uh, uh, to, to play the, to the best advantage for the Pittsburgh Pirates. I think we've done that with the existing system uh, to be able to take the very best player at every position possible uh, in a slotting uh, uh, environment. I think we would learn how to do that very effectively. Uh, so it's, it's more, from my standpoint, it's more understanding the rules, taking advantage and playing within the structure that we're given. If you had a chance, though, to affect what the new rules would be, where would you? Uh, again, we were talking about that earlier today. There, there are pros and cons of both sides. Uh, certainly a hard slotting, you have a very clear sense of what dollars are going to be. Uh, at the same time, uh, uh, what you may not have is the opportunity that we did, for example, with the Josh Bell, of a very, very aggressive second round pick where we're taking what we believe was first round, round talent and then be able to uh, uh, attract, you know, seven out of our 12 picks, top 12 picks, uh, were very high potential uh, high school arms. Uh, these kids who can really have an impact at the major league level. And so I, I'm not sure how that, how hard slotting plays for players like that in the long run. The Josh Bell bonus, is that the kind of thing that you get a bit of a slap on the wrist for, or that you guys go for it anyway, going that high? Um, I, I think that uh, that was an important signing for us to make. Uh, I'm very glad that it worked out. I'm very glad that their family uh, really looked at the Pittsburgh Pirates as an organization that can help develop his talents as a major league player most effectively and most quickly. So I think he made a great decision. Uh, and uh, I think it's appropriate that we paid up at an aggressive level because his talent uh, deserve that. Uh, and uh, so we're very pleased to have him as part of the organization. Uh, and it uh, doesn't fit exactly within what a slotting environment uh, might uh, uh, outline, but it was appropriate for the player, appropriate for the time. Can you talk a little bit about the dialogue that you had with the family and just maybe if that process was different given that this kid had been so adamant about going to college? Yeah, I mean, rather than getting specifically uh, uh, into it with, uh, with Josh, I mean, I think what we do have as an organization is a tremendously deep and talented team on our scouting staff, starting with uh, Greg Smith and the relationship uh, that Greg is able to build, that the scouts are able to build, understanding not just the player and his physical talent, but understanding what is his real interest, what's his makeup. Uh, we had a much better understanding, I believe, of the family situation 
an indication that he really did want to be a major league ball player, uh, irrespective of the uh, signals that may have been sent out to the rest of the industry. That's where that extra work that our guys did really paid off, I believe. Bob, did you sign these two guys. Do you feel like this organization got two major, or two first round type players? Uh, I believe we have two impact players that are going to uh, be able to affect uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates here at PNC Park. I mean, that's, you know, it, it's important to bring talent into the organization, but ultimately it's important when it impacts here at, uh, at the major league level. Uh, you know, I've seen, and we've, this has been our, it's not a first year we've done this, uh, we've had a, a relentless focus on trying to bring talent in. I've seen the improvement in the organization and the depths. We've begun to see this year the impact of that talent up here at the major league level. Uh, and I think that you have at least two players out of this draft uh, who are going to be able to be impact major league players. Frankly, as you work your way down through some of these other uh, pitchers that we were able to draft particularly, I think we're bringing a lot of talent into the organization, uh, and uh, they all have a long way to go, a lot of development time. And we have a tremendous development system built to make sure we can maximize and they can maximize their potential as people, as men, and as baseball players. Did the increase in revenue through attendance boost this summer allow you to spend more on the draft, or would that money have been there regardless? Um, the attendance has been fantastic and the excitement level in Pittsburgh we really uh, appreciate uh, as a practical matter uh, this year uh, with the draft dollars was really driven as much by what Neil and Frank and Greg saw as the opportunity uh, we've been building to make sure we have that opportunity ready to capture it uh, so it wasn't directly dependent uh, again we, we, we love having people in the ballpark uh, but we also know there, there are certain things we need to do as an organization to continue to improve, and bringing talent in is one of those things we need to do irrespective.